welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Target haul and no, my cat's in here. Can you hear her getting into stuff? She's crying because I had the door closed and I felt like a bad parent, like I was neglecting my child. So, she's in here, she's playing with water bottles, moving on. This is not a Black Friday haul. Your girl was way too broke to go Black Friday shopping. So this is like, it's like kind of a collective Target haul. This is maybe like, I don't know, like two or three different Target shopping trips. So yeah, let's just get on into it. All right, so let's start with beauty products. The first is going to be the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama gel liner in blackest black i love this this is a repurchase um because my other one kind of like it, it it basically dried up i didn't use it properly i didn't take care of it and i didn't like it at first like i didn't like gel liner not that i dislike the product i didn't like gel liner so i kind of let it sit for a little bit so it's it, it dried up it's done bought a new one i love this stuff i think it's so easy to work with it lasts really long. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. Obviously, I'm wearing like the older stuff because this is still in the package, but. And I actually really, really, really like the applicator it comes with. I bought a different one, you know, when the first time I bought this and I didn't like the one that I went out to buy specific for it. I like the one it comes with. So yeah, I mean, pretty basic stuff. Nothing spectacular. And then the other thing I got is my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in black is black. Y'all know this is my holy grail. I love this, my other one. I've used it up, it's done. You know, trying to put it on today, I was like, damn, there's like no product at all. And look who joined us on the bed. Look at her. Oh, she's so tooped. Anyways, this is my holy grail. It doesn't flake. It doesn't make your lashes feel all crunchy. It makes them so long. A little bit voluminous, but God, I love it. I just love it. The next thing, I don't know, is this TMI? Are we on this level? Your girl got a dry scalp for the first time in my life, and I never ever thought I would say that. And so with dry scalp comes some things that happen. I don't want to say the word. But I don't know what happened. I don't know. I've always had greasy roots. I've always had super greasy hair. And then all of a sudden, my scalp got dry and a little bit irritated almost. And so she's like into everything. So I bought some Head and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I guess I grabbed the two in one, but obviously I only really use this as. Okay, can you not, cat? Ow, she bit me, did you see that? Huh. This is what I get for letting her in here. Huh. Obviously, I only really use this as a shampoo. I used it for the first time today, so we'll see how it works out for me. I got it in the eucalyptus scent. The scent smells, I'm like smelling it with the cap closed. Go me. Anyways, it's eucalyptus scented. I love anything eucalyptus scented. If you guys know, I am obsessed with the eucalyptus spearmint candle, even though I am allergic. Hopefully I'm not allergic to this. I don't know, there's just something with like certain Bath & Body Works products that I'm allergic to. So maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is different. Um, it doesn't smell like strong eucalyptus. I really, I feel like it doesn't even really smell like eucalyptus, but um, it does smell good and it does, the scent does stay in your hair, but it's not overwhelming or anything. And I like shampoos where it's like a subtle scent, like you can be like, what's that? And then you're like, oh, it's my hair. It's me. <laughs> I bought <laughs> candles. Not that I really need candles, although I have been burning candles so much. My cat's now in my closet. 
I've been burning candles so much, and now I'm freaked out that my door is open. What if I see someone standing here? Does anybody ever get that irrational fear, like a doorway or a window or a mirror at the middle of the night, and all of a sudden someone pops up? I would shit myself. Now I'm a little sketched out. We're gonna go close it. No, we're not, because if the cat wants to go out, she needs to go out. I'm so torn. Now I'm a little sketched out, because your girl's alone right now. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. Bad karma. Moving on to candles. The first one <laughs> I picked up is the Holiday Spruce Soy Candle. This is just the Target brand. I think the Target brand candles are my favorite candles of all time. I do think they'd be Bath & Body Works, although Bath & Body Works got some banging smelling candles and they have a lot to choose from. I just feel like the Target ones burn longer, they're cheaper, they're soy candles so they're better for the air and the environment and your lungs and all of that stuff. And I think the smell is definitely, it reaches more. You know, it fills a room up more. You can definitely smell that there's a candle burning, whereas like Bath & Body Works, only certain candles, you can be like, oh wow, like I smell that. You feel me? Anyways, I have a Yankee candle and it's like a Yankee trio. And it was like vanilla cookie shit that on top and then it's like pine scented and then peppermint well I wanted another pine smelling candle because I never thought that I would really like the scent of it but I really like the scent of like Christmas tree without actually having a Christmas tree and so I went to go buy a new Yankee Candle trio or like just a new Yankee Candle like tree pine smelling candle and that's just expensive it was like 20 bucks like it was Bath and Body Works priced and it wasn't even like a three wick and I was like hell no you girls not paying that much mm -mm. so I went and I looked at the candles that are the Target brand and they had it and this smells exactly like the tree section in the Yankee Candle except this one was only five dollars and I love it after that I picked up this black orchid in amber candle this is again a soy candle I still think this is Target brand I want to say um but one can we just look at how cute this like black frosted container is oh I love it and this is like a candle I've never had before this scent is and I, I don't even care this scent is like sensual almost. It smells so good. You can definitely pick up the notes of amber. It's a little bit musky and just like a hint, a hint of sweet. Oh, I, I love it so much. I only got the small version though because this was over $5 and it's tiny as shit. It is so small. I really wanted the large version, but I'm trying to be a little bit financially responsible, just a little bit. All this stuff goes on my red card. So, <laughs> I know that sounds bad, that sounds so bad. I'm not paying cash for it right now, but I buy my groceries, like my food on my red card too. So I try not to go crazy. And like I said, these are multiple trips. Anyways, I shouldn't have to justify, justify myself this. This smells good. Moving on. The next candle I picked up is the Signature Soy. They're all called like the Signature Soy Candles um, Holiday Range. And this one is Sleigh Ride. I want to say this almost smells like cotton candy. Like, I keep trying to think of what this smells like. And that's what keeps coming to mind. But I feel like it's not quite cotton candy. Like... The last candle I picked up is my holy grail. This is the Bali Sunrise candle and it's only two wick, but this is my favorite scent of like all time, like all time favorite candle scent right here. This smells heavenly. And like, I don't know what happened to it. I feel like it melted in our closet because like, look at how weirdly gross it is. I don't know what happened to it. It also might have got messed up in like the move maybe I don't know but this smells so good it's very tropical very fruity it's it burns very noticeably so 
If you don't like candles that have a very obvious scent, this isn't gonna be the candle for you, but I love that. I don't wanna burn a candle and then not have it be, you know, obviously there. I like candles that are there, they're in your face, they're strong, I want it to fill up the whole room and this does it for me. I love it so much. And the last couple things I picked up from Target are books. First book I bought is, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? And Other Concerns by uh, Mindy Kaling from The Office and The Mindy Project. I really enjoyed The Office. I feel like she's like, I don't wanna say she's like my spirit animal, but I get her. I feel like our characters, our characters, I'm a real person, her character and myself would get each other. You feel me? And I don't know. I just really wanted to pick it up. I feel like it would be a quick, easy read. And I'm excited to start it. The next book I picked up is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I think she is so freaking hilarious. Mean Girl, Saturday Night Live, Parks and Rec, Leslie Nope for President, anybody? Anybody? Just me? Just I feel like it's going to be a hilarious read. If you guys have read this, let me know what you think of it down below. I picked up Oh, The Places You Go by Dr. Seuss. Um, this book holds so much significance for me. It was a very important book to my drama club in high school, and I think the quote, kid, you'll move mountains, really resonates with me. I've debated getting it as a tattoo, but then my roommate, my old roommate got it. Them. That was out of the question, but I don't know. I just think this book is so special. It holds such a special place in my heart that I just had to own it. And so I finally found it in Target and this is the 25th anniversary version of it. And yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say. And the last thing I picked up is like super random, but it's just this troll notebook because when I was younger, I used to collect trolls and I don't need any more notebooks. I really, really, really don't, but I just had to have this. Like I just had to have it. And that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite candle scent from Target is down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Everybody down, everybody down.